them that we're better than, than what we are made of. So, in order to do that, we take out all of the excuses that they bring up, right? So we basically have to fix what they are claiming not to be correct for us to go on the race. <clears throat> but in order to do that, we need to get the car back running, and then we need to get the, uh, the signs up and the equal light on the, uh, the van. So we have to divide ourselves up. Scrutineering came with some challenges. We came in thinking we weren't gonna uh, struggle as much as we did, um, but that's the beauty of engineering. Uh, we, we we found that um, there was actually a lot more that we needed to fix and, and, and work on, um, but the team uh, persevered really well, came through all of the challenges, and we passed scrutineering um, and we're off to the race. Things might not be exactly how they need to be, but let's make it a positive, uh, yeah, let's make it a positive thing, right? So let's make sure that we envelop ourselves in all the positive, positive vision that uh, we can uh, manage to get so that then we can um, make it, uh, make it. The all right, here we go. Solar cats on three, let's make it nice and proud for the first one. Here we go, solar cats on three, solar cats on three. One, two, three, three solar cats! cats! This year I'm really excited to be driving the solar car because um, having been part of the team for about four years now and going to two previous competitions, um, I got to see other people driving the car and you know I always thought and wished you know that was me. So now for this year, you know, being the team captain and getting to drive the car I worked so hard on is really special for me. And uh, the nerves are really starting to rack up now before the race and uh, just hoping all goes well. So far, um, 
great day, it's going so good. Um, we are getting uh, around a thousand watts, that, that's good for the car. Um, we have completed around six, um, like 60 uh, to 70 miles. So we hope we, this day continue like this um, to do better in the other days also. So we're here at day two of the race. Uh, yesterday went pretty smooth. It was all good. Everything went as planned. And right now we're charging the car. We're gonna trail it for 30 minutes, and then we're gonna get going. Hopefully today will be a great day, just like yesterday. And I think the team, if the team is focused and everything, it will be fine. Day two is gonna be great. the goal that we wanted to achieve and we're very excited by that. The car's performance uh, did amazing and uh, the fact that it went down to zero and we were lasting for about 20 minutes on zero percent was probably the best part of the day. And the winner of the Classic Division in day two with 109.1 miles for the day 192.8 <laughs> total solar cap. Hey Solar Cats, so it's been a marvelous uh, two days or three days of racing without including the scrutineering. Um, absolutely spectacular performance by the team. The team is coming together. The gears are basically uh, moving uh, now in the correct uh, motion. So we're getting excellent, excellent results from the team. So far, uh, I've seen that 
the planning that we've done on the uh, part of uh, logistics and how the day should be managed, um, it's coming up to where it is giving us excellent, excellent results. And uh, I'm noticing that the uh, models that have been created are coming very close to the actual prediction. Um, as of today, the trophy uh, that we got for day two, that basically fills everybody's morale. I think everybody will be much, much enthusiastic about it. Um, and I, I really have a very, very good feeling of what's gonna happen uh, as we come to the end of the race. So go Solar Cats. Also, I thought the view was absolutely beautiful. There was a lot of mountains, some things we, we don't often see in Florida. And we stopped by the side of the road and we walked down a little far down into this mountain and it had like a good, like, really big canyon. And yeah. So today the car performed very well. We um, we completed every mile in, the, in today's race and we've arrived in, in El Paso and we didn't even have a full charge. So our strategy that we, that we did today, which we will probably be using for the rest of the days of our race, was to go slow, was to go slow and stop to get charged, stop to receive charge. And we're going to be spending the whole day tomorrow in El Paso. We'll be showing the car to the community. We'll, we'll also be fixing the car and making sure that it's in prime condition for the next few race days. And I hope that, our, that we will continue at the pace we're at because we're in a very good pace and no more to say. or one hour early, that gives us a little lead time. So when you're watching your, your, your phone time as we get into that. And the winner of the Classic Division in day three, with 102.1 miles yesterday, 294.9 total solar cast. <laughs> So I've had a great time in this race. I've learned a lot. I've made a lot of friends, and uh, I expect to, you know, uh, have a great time in the next upcoming days and do better every day. We woke up like about a bit more earlier than what we used to do, like at 4.34 and we got ourselves ready, started to pack up, getting ready to go. So we all got in the trucks, picked up the car at the impound at Texas University and now we're on our way to the next point of the race and do our day. So now we're going to go about 44 miles, travel to the trip, all the past our, going to Arizona. This year, it's been great, because I've never had an experience like this. Traveling all, all west, looking at places I've never seen before, traveling with my team after a, a hard year of working. Um, we've come together and then we've made this car. 
that we brought here to race and now all of her work is paying off and so far we're in first place and I'm super proud of that because I, it's my first year and I've never thought I would make it this far so I'm very proud. The experience has been great and I'm honored to be here. This is my first year in the Solar Core Challenge and it's been an amazing experience. I've learned a lot, uh, like teamwork and uh, yeah and so on. And uh, I'm looking forward to win the race, of course. Uh, we are here to uh, do our best. here with the Solar Cats and we're traveling today 187 miles I'm sorry 180 miles to Palms California um, the uh, lead driver for the uh, caravan and we're hoping to um, reach California as soon as possible as of right now we have a great team and everything's going great so good luck to everybody thanks It's been fun. Uh, we're doing really well, which has amazed me. The car's doing extremely well. Um, it's fun to also get to see how see how the other team's going, interact with them, uh, get to know them, support them, and also get to see new scenery with everybody. So, it's, yeah, I love the experience. Hope to do it again. Morning. Today is the last day of the, the race, and uh, we had a wonderful day yesterday. Everybody worked uh, incredibly well. Uh, the race was uh, flawless. We didn't have any problems. I think the team worked uh, beautifully together. Everybody's doing a fantastic job, and um, no problems whatsoever. Today we have 100 miles to go, and uh, hopefully we'll have another beautiful day.
we're down to about a fifth of a tank. We're trying to recover some of it, and we still have like about 100 miles to go, so we cannot let the gap open up. So right now the emotions are those of uh, being worried. Um, uh, you know, from a from from a point of view of uh, finishing uh, very strong. Um, but other than that, the team has uh, in good spirits this morning. The car, uh, like I say, it's been running great, um, and we just need to somehow harvest a little bit more of the sunlight so that we can have enough energy to finish this last uh, uh, part of the uh, of the track here. been um, amazing I'm so proud of uh, all the all the kids how they're getting along how they're working uh, together um, I think it's been uh, great and um, I think we're gonna win now that I think I know we're gonna win First things first, I want to say how incredibly, incredibly proud I am of each and every one of you. I'm sure every everybody here is proud of everybody because we all did our job. And look, we made it here. Who knows what we placed in? I'm hoping we got first. But all I know is we're here. First place, we're first, first place, baby. We're first place. Right. What? Right. Solar cats on three. Solar cats on three. One, two, three. Solar cats. We worked a long time to uh, get the car to this position and ultimately to get the car across the finish line. So now that we're done, it feels like, you know, a breath of fresh air, relief, that we finally don't have to wake up at five in the morning and have all that stress of, you know, will the car break down today? But at the same time, I'm going to miss the competition atmosphere and um, just uh, the teamwork and having fun with my teammates while we drive cross country. Finally being able to cross the finish line in the solar car is honestly a, like a dream come true because being in this program for four years and being the two other solar car challengers, we always placed exactly where we wanted to or were around where we expected. But for this year, we uh, basically overachieved what we expected and as of our knowledge, we got first place. So it's really a dream come true to have been, to have been able to drive the car that we built cross country and have it not break down on us from Dallas to Palmdale it was a lot of fun. Now that the race is finally over, I'm feeling great. Um, we, we made it here in one piece. Um, the card ran extremely well. Um, everybody on the team did their roles and, and um, did it to perfection. We worked really well as a team and um, there's a reason why we had so much success. Um, what, what am I looking forward to? Well, first things first, I'm looking forward to some sleep. 
Um, I'm definitely looking forward to not having to drive uh, 200 miles a day every day. Um, but really, I'm looking forward to next season. Um, I really want um, to, for us to maybe move on to the advanced division and be the best of the best. Um, we deserve that. Uh, show why we, we should be there, and, and hopefully we are. all 66.8 miles in 3 hours and 17 minutes. Solar Cats. Classic Division, completing 544.4 miles, Solar Cats. Good job, good job, good job, Wilmer. Good job, guys. work that made it happen. I mean, John, it's unbelievable, uh, both Johns, uh, when it came to the uh, that was so hard. The navigation, uh, John Sr., I mean, that was impeccable to have that uh, last year. Tony, what you do, Khan, basically, the judges were impressed the way we were doing the passing and the, and the maneuver of letting people go by and not letting people go by and covering and keeping the, uh, to the point where all of them, we're basically saying that we were a very, very safe uh, team, that we were doing things uh, the, way, the correct way uh, to keep uh, everybody uh, safe. Uh, Ms. Sabine getting us the sandwiches and the, and the uh, Walmart uh, stuff. Yeah. And putting up with Mr. Hicks. <laughs> yeah. Okay, the other, the other thing that also clicked and it made a big difference was the model that uh, Mr. Hicks put together. But that model basically, uh, with a couple of days of calibration, it was giving us very precise, up to the minute, of what is it that we needed to do. That we did not have. That made the difference. Yeah. That made the difference. The way you used it, the way you created it, and the way it came together. It's unbelievable, right? But if we did not have all of these ingredients, it just would not uh, happen. The way you were doing the flagging, the people were very, very that the way the drivers uh, were driving, where Sebastian here? I mean, uh, he got very nervous at the beginning, but he got himself to the uh, scout work, the scout uh, uh, work that uh, was being done by Diggs and Mr. Adams. That was also very, very valuable information. I mean, Samuel did an impeccable job. Every time there was a judge sitting there, he would be asking, how are you, judge? Can I get you water? Can I get you cookies? Can I get you, what do you want to eat? What do you want to Mexican mom. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Gabriela, an excellent job in doing all the tweets and all the media that was going out. Uh, thanks for uh, connecting with Motorola Solutions. So um, everybody did a great job. I think we came together at the end and this is the result of it. So I really, really want to thank each and every one of you. I think we did a marvelous job and we're bringing it home. So feel very proud about this. You're gonna get to be able to write this in your resumes and I tell you going forward you have better opportunities to go to the best schools that exist out there and not only that be able to get internships uh, including Motorola Solutions internships. <laughs> uh, so thank you again I really really appreciate it. it makes me very very proud to be part of this team it makes me very proud to know each one of you and I look forward to seeing you progress in that. So when I Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I learned how to manage, uh, how to work with a, a big team of people and more when you have different type of persons. Uh, also how to deal with big problems like the one we had at our scrutinary. Um, but even though all of those problems, um, the, we managed to, uh, to be a good team. Um, uh, how that, like I say, it was a great experience being my first experience. If, if I had an opportunity to repeat this, I would do it again. It feels very satisfying. It's, it's a whole plan coming together. Um, totally different experience. Um, never planned for it. Um, although you work very hard for it and when it comes and when everything comes together and, 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 and you get the, the final result and the result or something like this it basically makes you feel with a lot of satisfaction that the plan that was put forth it, it came together and it, uh, it, it basically flourished into something that um, is, is making everybody feel great and happy about it. If, if I were to think um, the future here is to build those part of the process even more. I think we're very good at mechanical and electrical. Um, we need to focus on the other things that make the whole clock turn. So like the whole media, uh, the advertisement, the social network that was incorporated totally new we did not have that I think that brought in um, much needed sponsors it brought in much needed um, uh, other elements that helped us um, support the whole system we also brought in um, a new way of measuring uh, with telemetry looking at what um, we can do with the information that uh, we get so that we can actually perform better out there um, and then not only that, uh, the right uh, people with the right behavior and the uh, right attitude uh, all coming together, even though we have differences, everybody comes together and it just starts moving the clock in the right direction. So I would like to be able to build those types of teams in the uh, future.
Congratulations, Solar Cats. Congratulations, Solar Cats. Hey guys, congratulations for winning the American Solar Cut Challenge. You did great. Congratulations, Solar Cats. Whoa! Congrats, Solar Cats!